We're watching episode five, by the way. Let me fix that. Episode 5 is called A Broken Fist. So it should be epic after a brutal murder and whatnot. The last episode. We're going to see how Lord Tanarai, Tanaraga is going to react to the news when he finds out his son massacred Lord uh, Aishido's men. And uh, and bear in mind, uh, Blackthorn, Mariko, or Fuji, Fuji Sama, one of them fucked. I don't know who fucked who, but somebody fucked, fucked Blackthorn. I couldn't tell with all the hair and the faith and whatnot, but somebody busted his nut. But who? I don't know. I'm assuming it's not a but I could be wrong. You know, I could be wrong. Anything is possible. Remember, you can catch this show on Disney Plus. Shogun's FX. Damn, a lot of bodies, bro. A lot of bodies. It's gross. It's gross. It's gross. It's so gross. Oh my god, you gotta watch this shit. A lot of bodies. Toranaga just showed up with with the gazillion men, bro. A gazillion men. Shit. This is bad. Marcus' husband is alive, which just means she fucking cheated, bro. She cheated. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody don't get killed. Infidelity, bro. I'll doubt it. Oh, man. He's gonna get his ass killed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody's getting their ass killed. Somebody's definitely getting their ass killed. Oh man. She thought her husband was dead. So she cheated.
the regiments are trying to figure out who they're going to use as a replacement for Tararanga since he quit the council and whatnot. Do just took the power his son had. So if you, you know, Lord, Lord Taranaga, son was sort of leading the regiment with the guns and whatnot. And power's been stripped away because of what he did with the whole killing of Lord Ashido's men and whatnot. His father was very disappointed in him. Oh, he's very disappointed. He thought he was doing his father a favor, but he started a war. And dad's like, no, man, what you did was uncool. What you did was not well, man. So that's interesting. And on top of that, uh, Marco's husband is now instructed to stay with Marco and Blackthorn and Fujisama in the same household. Now, bear in mind, Fujisama, Mariko, one of them fucked, I think it's Mariko, she fucked Blackthorn. So she has committed the art of adultery, which is enough to get her killed. Now, she and Blackthorn and Mariko's husband are going to live in the same household. Man, it's going to be awkward. It's going to be awkward. Somebody's going to get killed. It's quite impressive that her husband survived, you know, in episode two or so. Or three, he he was in battle with a bunch of men on his own, and somehow he survived because, you know, a Ronin showed up and helped him kill a bunch of dudes like that, which is impressive. And he took 20, 20 odd days or so to get to Idol Castle and whatnot, which is also impressive. 
by my personal account. So I got to say, man, this has been brilliant. So you know, we're only 10 minutes in or so, and I'm like, wow, this is, this is really good. A messenger just showed up with somebody's head in a container. Joseph was killed. So, Lord, I just saw Joseph's head in a container and whatnot. That's, that's, that's impressive. Lord Toda is in the house, my brother.
<laughs> They're making it into a cup. Lord told them. Okay, they, they're doing a dick contest about drinking sake. Man, he's gonna get shit faced. Oh, they're competing. It's a dick contest of who's got the best <laughs> lungs for alcohol. It's not gonna end well. They're gonna be shit faced in the morning. Talk about a hangover.
Man, this is some crazy shit. So, um, the dick measuring contest that Black Thorn and Lord Tanado were having, you know, while they're drinking all the sake and whatnot, and then Black Thorn was like, come on, tell me your escape, mm, your herism, how do you escape or sake? And he's like, we don't boast about, you know, such things. Heroism is for the dead and whatnot. Stories are for children and whatnot. He's, you know, he said, I'm not doing that. And he's like, you, you, you tell me about your whole uh, wars and shit that you've been through. And he's like, well, I've, I've been in the wars and stuff. And then, and then, Lord, Tato just takes a bow and starts shooting at a gate post. The arrows pass right here, right in the tip of the nose of Marco Sama. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And, and then Black Thorn's like, man, this is some crazy barbaric shit. In my country, we don't treat women like that. Here, you may treat women like property and whatnot, but we don't do that at my place. And then, most shockingly, Marco translated the way he said. I thought she was going to change the world because she's been doing that the whole conversation. She doesn't change the world. She translates them exactly like the dude said. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then dudes like disrespectful to his wife. He's, he's treating her like she's trash. And then he's like, tell him about your family. And apparently, Marco's father is an assassin who killed a previous uh, Taiko, basically. He killed a previous ruler of Japan. And then, because the previous ruler of Japan was a corrupt, cruel man, so this guy, her father, killed him, assassinated him. And then for his punishment, they made him kill his entire family and after killing them commit the art of seppuku now marigo's only survival uh, trait is she survived because she was already married off so she's no longer part of that family but she's still part of our bloodline but she's part of a new bloodline that's mm. some crazy shit mm. that's crazy in my personal opinion i gotta say that's crazy but hey, dope is dope i tell you dope mm. It's crazy. Lord Tata just beat the shit out of his wife. My God, does Blackstone even know how to use a sword? Why is he taking up on a samurai? He don't get killed.
I just saw the clip where he, he aimed the right post with his arrow. Well, he was pissed. Drunk. I was expecting a fight. I'm very disappointed. Damn. So my dude was like, Marika Summer, you gotta leave this nigga or something like that. You, you, you gotta escape to prison. And then she's like, my dude, the only one in prison is you here, bro. You're always chasing your freedom. You will, but you will never find it because you will never be free of yourself. God damn, that's the politics shit. That's William Shakespeare. God damn.
Man, these people don't take death seriously. Remember that pheasant or peasant that black zone? I don't know if I told you. He 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 got a gift from Taranga, and, and then instead of you know the you know, removing its feathers and whatnot. He hung it up on a porch or something. I, I don't know. I thought he was going to make some built-on type of vibe. Anyway, the thing just carried bugs and fleas. It rotted there for weeks or days. And then he, when he put it, he said, if someone touches, they die. And it was more of a joke, I guess. And they took it seriously. Some guy touched it, removed it, and they killed him. And, and Blackthorn's like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? And, and then Fuji, Fuji Sama, when he confronts her, like, what happened with the bird? And like, this guy took us, so I killed her. He's like, why did you kill her? And he's like, oh, please take my life because he's upset. I'm like, what the? And he's like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Something wrong with these people for real, though. They take death, but you live and you die? That's the bullshit. This is how tradition. I would have died the first week I was born if I was born there. God damn. They kill you for nothing. They kill you for speaking out of term. They speak you for disobeying your master's orders in his house. Nigga got in trouble for beating his own wife in the, his own wife in the room that they got in another man's house. He got in trouble, so he had to put his sword down, lay his head down, apologize, and blame it on fucking sake and whatnot. Alcohol. Blame it on the alcohol, 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 me. I'm like, this is some crazy shit, man. This show is crazy. If this is what really happened in, in Japan, oh my God, these people are nuts. They nuts. I know, I know African tradition of some weird shit. We used to take our binos and throw them in the evil forest babies because they, we used to take uh, 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 twins and whatnot and, and say they were bad omen. They could be a feminist. I don't know, every culture in the back of the day has some crazy shit. But damn. Okay, they're throwing twins into the forest and saying that they bring a bad omen is kind of worse. And most of these people die of their own free will. They commit the art of several things. It's a great way to die. Anyway, I mean, man, that's crazy. Oh, an avalanche, folks. Earthquake. Oh, an earthquake just swallowed up everybody, fam. Changed the landscape within a sec. What used to be a plain field is now a mountain.
What the hell's going on? Oh my god, the whole fucking village is destroyed. Man, there's rubble all over the place, man. That earthquake killed everybody, man. Not everybody, everybody, but damn. It's a mess. Okay, Fuji Summer's alive. She's badly injured, though. They got the score playing, man. It's fire. It's got that Mongolian vibe, like it's fire, bro. Lady Ochiba has returned to Osaka. I'm assuming. The problem is, she was an, an idol, but she wasn't captured. She went there on her own fruition, and they thought he, she had kidnapped the Queen Mother of some sort. Damn, Lady Oshida just took the throne. She's at the top of the cancel line. She's like, I'm taking over you bastards. I ain't been doing a good job. That's the end of the episode. That's the end of the episode, man. That's crazy. Episode 6 is going to be the Ladies Willow World. But, okay, let's just do a quick recap of what we just saw. So, remember, Blackthorn and Mariko are fucked in the last episode four. And then her husband, uh, Lord Toda, came back to life. And then they had a little scuffle after the little sake. And then this gardener fella was killed because of a bird. And then an earthquake took place, almost killing, basically burying Lord Tanaranga under the ground. And then somehow Blackthorn managed to scavenge him and get him out. You know, remember the black the whole earthquake thing that supposedly happens all the time killed a lot of people. And then they found a spy who's been sending information back and forth. Uh lady um what's that lady again? Uh Fuji something. Um uh, got injured in the whole aspect. A black zone was disgusted by the traditions of these people that they'll kill people over nothing. Like I said, don't nobody touch this bird here. And somebody just touched it because I said, if you touch the bird, you die. As in a jokingly, you know, it's a way of saying, 
you know how we threaten kids not to do certain things, something will happen to them, so they don't do it, and they don't actually do it? But these motherfuckers did what they were told not to do, and then they executed the threat that the guy was saying, if you touch it, you die. They executed it. it, it. Crazy. Crazy indeed. And then, uh, Lady Oshida, if that's, if, if that's her name, uh, got released uh, in Oshiba, rather. It returns to Osaka. Bear in mind, she's actually... Uh, the mother of the heir to the throne, she returns to Osaka after uh, her stay or her capture in um in Ido, where Lord Taranga's a whole, you know, is. Now it's very interesting how this this will go. Uh, twenty sixth March is when the next episode comes out. That's next week. Uh, so. Yeah, it should be interesting how things pan out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like and sub button, you know, and come back again next week. Adios. Bye.